In the last video we talked about myopia and hyperopia, so two conditions which affect eyesight. In this video we'll talk about another one which is called cataracts, and cataracts are also a problem that can cause problems with the eyesight. Um, so here you can see a person, now this is usually his pupil, and lower his pupil would be the lens. And usually it's transparent so you wouldn't be able to see the lens, but you can see here, you can clearly see the lens. But the problem is it's not transparent, it's actually cloudy or white in color. And that obviously will cause some problems. So cataracts is more or less a clouding of the lens, so a cloudy lens. Now how does the lens itself become cloudy and what kind of problems would that cause? So first of all we've got here our normal vision. Usually ideally light will come in. It will be refracted right from the cornea, aqueous humor, the lens and the vitreous humor. It will be refracted to hit sort of to all converge on one spot of the eye ideally. That's what usually happens in normal eyesight, so this would be normal eyesight. But because here the lens is not transparent, this would be a cataract. In this case, we have a lens which is not transparent. We've got light coming in. Some of it will be going where it's meant to be going, but other parts will deflect or, or bend into areas that it's not meant to be bending in. Because you can imagine if it's cloudy, which means that some of the parts aren't where they're meant to be, that the actual bending of the light on, at the lens is not going to be perfect, it's not going to be as it should be. right? So in this case this would be normal vision, this is what would look like if you have normal vision, but this is when you have cataracts. So it's basically just blurry vision all over, and the reason why is because a lot of these retina, uh, these cones and rods, are being activated on all different parts of the retina, as opposed to just on one point. Now, in terms of how this might happen, it, the exact cause is a bit unknown, but we do think it has something to do with, I've spelled that wrong, um, we do think it has something to do with the proteins. If you remember a couple of videos back I said that these proteins in the lens are called the crystalline proteins and they're the ones who allow us to bend light. Now, usually they're transparent which means they have a structure that is transparent, so they're see-through. So even though they're there we can't see them, that's good. And these proteins here, these ones that just, they would be all over the actual lens. That's normally, that's, they're just there, but they're, they're see-through. But when it comes to cataracts, something has changed with the uh, structure of these proteins. That's made them not see-through, but has, has made them absorb, block light, or deflect it other places. Which is the reason why it becomes white in color. So cataract is just... You don't actually need to explain this part, right? so what you need to know is cataracts is the clouding of the lens. The cause, it could be due to aging, that's usually the case, usually with aging some people do get it. Genetics, some people are born with it, or it could come from a different disease, for example diabetes um, or thyroid disorder, these two can lead to cataracts. So these are some of the causes, that's what you should know, you should know that cataracts are cloudy lens, cloudy lenses. You can say that the the exact cause is unknown, but we believe it's got something to do with these crystalline proteins um, changing their shape, which means that it become less transparent. And the problem would obviously be the light itself is not pointed to one spot, but kind of scattered all over the place, which gives us blurry vision or poor visual acuity. Good visual acuity would mean that we have a clear picture, and poor visual acuity would mean that we have a sort of kind of focus well on one object or anything else. So that's what you should know in terms of actual cataracts. The first part, because the point says process and analyze information from second source to describe cataracts. That's what we've done, we've described the cataracts. But now we're going to do, we're going to describe the technology that can be used to prevent blindness from cataracts and discuss the implications of this technology for society. So that's what we're going to do next. Now there's two different um, technologies that are being used. One of them is the cataract surgery. This is probably one of the most uh, common surgeries in the world. So cataract surgery is quite common. It's happening a lot. Uh, not just in developed countries, so like America, Australia, Europe. Uh, Europe is not a country, but the different countries in Europe. Um, it's also happening in developing countries. So the ones who don't usually have too much access to, to surgeries, because these are really effective and usually quite easy to do as well. So that's one, cataract surgery. The other one would be implantable contact lenses. You can see this would be the this would be the um, iris. Back here is the lens, and what we do is we shove a actual contact lens 
between the two. So this is the contact lens we put inside between the lens and the iris, and this gives us good vision as well. So these two are maybe ones you should remember, cataract surgery and implantable contact lenses. And what they do with cataract surgery, what it does is we actually, these, these broken pits here, this is the cataract, this is the, the cloudy bit. We actually have something that sucks out, we suck them out, so the, the damaged lens is being sucked out, and then we put an artificial one. So we put a new one, this is the new one, the artificial one, and this artificial one will have the same function as the old one, and you're going to have less blurriness and, and clear vision, so we have got good visual acuity. So basically, you can actually get blind from, so even though this picture, you know, this looks fuzzy, eventually cataracts will go so bad that you become blind from cataracts. So having these cataract surgery or implantable contact lenses, you can prevent blind, blindness from happening. You can restore your vision and you can prevent blindness from happening. So we've described some of those technologies just now, but I still want to discuss the implications of this technology for society. Discuss means we have to talk about the advantages and disadvantages. Doesn't mean they have to be the same amount, just means we need to talk about them. And that's what I've done here. So this, this table discusses implications. This is the discuss part. So what are the advantages? Well, first of all, it restores sight. That should be straightforward. People will have good vision again, and that's a great thing for people. Right? Some of the disadvantages, there are some risks. It's actually a low risk. It's low risk. It's one of the more easy ones to do, which has low risk. But it's still, whenever you have got surgery, there's going to be some risk. Either if you put a lens in between your eyes and your, your sorry, put a contact lens between your lens and your iris, or if you remove the actual cataracts, both of these will have some risk, even though they're low, there still might be some risks. But overall, another advantage is that it's quick and painless. So these surgeries usually take a very short amount of time. I think it's maybe even in the minutes, not even an hour, I think it's in the minutes, and they're painless, so people don't have huge amounts of problems afterwards. But one of the disadvantages would obviously be that there are some costs. Even though, again, this is the actual surgery is quite cheap compared to other surgeries, there's still some cost involved. Um, that's one of the disadvantages. But yeah, one of the advantages that's relatively inexpensive. So even though there is a cost, it's still quite easy. Quite easy um, and for us in the, in the developing countries, uh, developed countries, it's I mean, it's a couple of it might be a couple of thousand dollars. But if you restore your sight, that's worth it in the end. Many times like the government would pay quite a bit of that as well. And one more advantage, a big one, is it reduces the burden on the family and friends, right? If you're blind, um, you're going to have to take have care. People need to take care of you more. So if you get that surgery, there will be less burden on the family. The family can do other things with their time apart from taking care of someone who's blind. Um, and that would be advantage as well. Right? So there's more advantages than disadvantages. I think that's the, the conclusion you should draw is that overall, the surgery is very, very good for society. Even though there are some disadvantages, some risks and some costs, overall, there's much more good about these surgeries than there is bad. So that's basically what you should get out of this part. This second part is you need to be able to describe cataract surgery quickly or the implantable contact lenses, whatever one you choose. Right? And then you, this, this part, discuss part, means you need to talk about this advantages and disadvantages of this technology for society, but the conclusion you should draw is that overall it's a very good surgery. It's very common because it's very useful. Um, whilst there's some risks, it's, the risks outweigh, the, the benefits outweigh the risks. I hope that was useful.